We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to be taking a look at this HP 4250 and we're going to show you how to clear common paper jams. So if you're getting a paper jam error on your 4250, the first place I would look is to lift the front door, remove the cartridge, and see if you can find any paper stuck underneath the cartridge. So whether it's laying all the way in the back, or sometimes you have to look right underneath the front assembly to see if you can find anything white sticking out. And if you don't, if you think you see something, but you want to see a little more carefully, if you lift down this front door, there's a little tab here that you can remove. And when you remove that, you can push down and you can see a little bit better as far as any paper is sticking up or through. And you just want to remember that whenever you're clearing a paper jam, that when paper is getting moving inside this printer, it's coming up and following an S pattern through the printer, and you always want to try to pull the paper in that same direction. So you want to be kind of mindful of what direction the paper goes, because if you pull the paper the wrong direction, there's a chance you could actually break something and cause more damage than the, just the paper jam being there in the first place. So you want to be very careful when you ever remove a paper jam, because it is easily possible to actually cause more damage to your printer. So it, if there's nothing under the cartridge, the next place I would look is in your paper tray. Make sure that there's nothing sticking out the bottom that's not you know, barely sticking up through there. Make sure that all your paper is seated properly. And the last place I would look is actually in the back of the printer. Lower the back door. And if it's not sticking straight through the back where you can see it, Sometimes it'll just kind of be poking its way through um, on this little back panel. You'll see there's almost like a little uh, spot where your thumb fits perfectly on the side. If you push that in, this back piece removes very easily. And you can kind of get a better view as far as any kind of paper sticking out or anything like that. And if you had to, if, if you're not sure, make sure the power, the power to the printer is turned off and unplugged. And this is actually your fuser. There's a blue tab on either side of the bottom. If you push up on those, you can actually remove the, remove the fuser completely and make sure that there's no paper stuck in the fuser at all. And it gives you a clear access to make sure that there's no paper anywhere else in there. But that should help you locate wherever your paper jam is. If you can't, if that's still not finding it, then you could have a broken paper a path sensor. Um, that's something that Onyx could help you out with if that's the case. So if you can't find a paper jam and you're still having that paper jam error, if you followed all those steps, then please give us a call so we can help you out with that. Other than that, you should be back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.